Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, very positive video. Thank you to Omega, they make everything right. I brought my Seamaster Aquaterra to check the water resistance. It's about four years old, still under warranty. And also to check the movement performance. They did that at their service center within one day. So I just brought the watch at the boutique. They gave me a paper where I could check online in real time where my watch was, what the match watchmaker was doing. And uh, before you know it, the watch is back already and they give you a call and they give it back to me in this beautiful pouch. Last year I had brought my uh, Speedmaster uh, to get demagnetized. Again, I got the watch back in two days in a nice long red pouch that I've been using ever since. Uh, but this one is a, a lot nicer, really beautiful. So it feels like, uh, li like leather. You open it like this and as you pull it, it opens in French. We would call this uh, an écran. Absolutely lovely. So the, the watch itself, uh, the confirm is running perfectly. I haven't really abused it and I got it second hand, but almost um, in excellent condition. Just a, a couple of scratches. Speaking of scratches, I've used the uh, Cape Cod to uh, polish the, the links. Uh, and now they really came back to life with a beautiful shine. I think if I was pushing it a bit harder, I could really remove even on the video with the bright light. You wouldn't see anything, but already like this, the result is uh, quite astounding. So Cape Cod, uh, get, get this. So there you go, here's my Aquaterra back. You know the watch very well, 38.5 millimeters. Vertical patterns, no frame on the date. It's my favorite uh, version and the prices have been going up. So I was looking at possibly uh, moving on with in the watch game and, and selling uh, this one. It was more, one of my first uh, luxury watches. I, I could never let go of it. I was always thinking even if I don't wear it, my son will, will love it. But I'm thinking maybe by the time I can give it to him in 10 years, um, I'll have bought many other watches. So I was checking out prices and actually the prices have, have gone up on the second hand market. Even damaged ones are above 30,000 Hong Kong dollar. Quite happy uh, about that. Uh, we'll see. Obviously, it's a, it's a beautiful watch. It does a lot of things really well. I just wish there was a bit more more volume on the, the minute hand, maybe a bit of clasp ex extension. But yeah, as a first luxury watch, you really can't go wrong with the Aquaterra. Speaking of Aquaterra, I finally, after a year and a half since the release, got to try on the World Time version which apparently is coming very rarely to the boutiques and uh, I asked about it it was on was not on display but the sales lady told me I was very lucky they got one in to show to people and then uh, it's already uh, spoken for I was expecting it to be big but not that as big uh, as that uh, on the, the video you, you might see that the, the bracelet sort of uh, pushes up here it's supposed to go downwards because of the plastic around but nevertheless, it's 43 millimeters, wearing very, very big. Although Omegas, you tend to, to wear smaller with those uh, twisted lugs. And it's quite thick as well. I feel like the dial is really huge beyond what is necessary. So again, it's a bit of the pitfall with uh, Omega. They tend to be, uh, the, co the calibers, the coaxial calibers tend to be big. And uh, in this uh, world time complication version, it, it is really uh, beyond what most wrists can handle certainly I, I, I could pull it off from a distance but when you look at it closely you know how it is the, the watches look much bigger so to you it looks really way too big from a distance in the mirror I could tell I could uh, it, it could be okay but the Aquaterra is a very elegant watch and that's why the uh, smaller version the 38.5 is also the one worn by uh, James Bond in actually the last three movies you might not have noticed it and um, it's a bit more, more elegant than the, the 41 millimeter version, I think. And so this world time uh, at 43, it, it remains basically the, the same uh, the same watch. So it's it really big for an Aquaterra. Uh, obviously the details are, are beautiful, but you can't compare that to the classic world timers from Patek, for example. Here it's all high tech, lasered map in the in the center. Beautiful watch, but you need at least, I would say, 18 centimeter wrists, uh, seven and a half inch and, uh, and up for that. But 
anyway thank you very much omega for the lovely service here at the hong kong boutique in uh, in, in central uh, i really appreciate it lovely pouch another satisfied customer thank you for watching guys bye bye